Hey, what's up, Black Comic Lords? I'm going to try something a little different this week. We're going to try doing an FOC video. FOC stands for Final Order Cutoff. So if you've been in a space, you know I'm constantly always talking about doing pre-orders on comics. Um, shout out to Derek Harrison, who made a really great post last week regarding uh, pre-orders and their importance and, and, and doing subscriptions as a way of affecting the market and trying to really um, encourage both your LCS and the comic companies to put out the type of books that, that we want and the type of characters that we want to be seen. Um, you got to let your dollars count and doing uh, subscriptions and pre-orders is the best way to do that. So we have an, a pre-order date coming up June 27th and June 28th of next week. And I'm going to give you a list of some books that I think you might want to put on those lists uh, so you can order ahead of time. The, the importance of this um, also is 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 helpful um, not just for um, making sure that you get the books that you want you won't have to scramble at the last minute but a lot of times a lot of LCS's if you do the pre-orders will give you a discount so it's financially beneficial to you as well so with that here's a couple of uh, books I think you might want to add to your list first up we've got uh, one I've really been looking forward to it's called Dark Blood, number one. Um, this is a story of a soldier. I think he's a Tuskegee Airman. And the story takes, a former Tuskegee Airman. And the story takes place in 1955. Um, he's a family man, wife, children. Um, somehow gets powers and has to deal with the ramifications of being a black man in 1955 with powers. That sounds familiar. It kind of reminds you of... Uh, a blue Marvel. So this is this is an interesting thing that I'm really looking forward to. There's two covers. There's cover A, and cover B. Cover A is really the only one that's that, uh, in my opinion, is is worth going ahead and get. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. Dark Blood number one. Uh, next up, we have Excellence number eleven. Um, I'm I'm really behind. I got to be honest with you. I'm really behind on my Excellence reading. What I have read has always been very very good. Um, Art by Kari Randolph. Um, think of it as Harry Potter meets Underworld meets Power. I mean, it's just it's a very unique book, and um, I love it just for that alone. It's and it's a good read. Next, we got our our, our favorite up there, uh, Philadelphia number fifteen. Um, the solicit for this reads that. Um, um, the Sangsters are on the run from Toppy and Abigail's for forces. Um, and uh, Jimmy is learning how to deal with his powers as a vampire. So I guess that's not reversed. <laughs> uh, it's going to be interesting, and I look forward to reading that. Next, we've got uh, The End of the Clone War. Clone, keep saying Clone War. Clone Saga for uh, Miles Morales. Miles Morales number 20, I think it's 28, 28. Um, you know, if you've been following this run, it's been strangely uh, good. Like, I, I was really had my doubts um, when they regurgitate these old stories from back in the day, but this one's actually been um, pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, the main clone character of Salim is going after Miles' family, and the solicit indicates this is going to be kind of a heart-wrenching conclusion. So it sounds kind of dramatic. We'll see what happens. There's two covers. Uh, cover A is good. Cover B with uh, Puerto Rican Spider-Man. You got to love that. <laughs> He's got the Puerto Rican Spider-Man. I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. Uh, it keeps up with the history of, 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 of variant covers on Miles. Um, next up, we have uh, the other history of the DC Universe, uh, number five. This is number five of five. This is the final issue of the run of done by John Ridley, who's done an outstanding job on this entire run. Um, this run began with the story of, of Black Lightning, and it's ending with his daughter, Thunder, Anissa Pierce. 
So uh, it's going into her background, and I, I, I'm here for it. I mean, there's two covers, cover A, cover B. They're both brilliant. I mean, you just got to pick whichever one you want, or honestly, more than likely, I'll probably get both just to complete my run. Um, next, we have Static Season 1, number 2. Season 1 started with a bang, um, pun intended, and uh, it's still going. So in this one, the solicit indicates that his, uh, my, um, Virgil's, I said almost Miles, it's a 40 and slip. <laughs> Shout out to Dwayne McDuffie. Uh, Virgil, actually, uh, his family finds out, I guess, about his powers and um, not happy with the whole... Or at least they're, they're, they, they're, they're not happy with the fact that a bully, a superpowered bully, came to Virgil's house. So we'll see what happens with that. There's a cover A and a cover B. I don't have the uh, picture for cover B, which is done by Nicholas Draper Ivy. Um, but I do have the cover A, which I believe is Car Kari Randolph, if I'm not mistaken. Next up, we have Time Before Time, number number three. Um, I have not read number two. I've read number one. Um, actually, I did read number two. I, I'm enjoying it. I generally don't go for time travel stories. Black people in time travel don't really mix. But um, this one's a good one. It takes place in the future. De deals with crime syndicates, economic syndicate families or whatever. Um, and it's, it's, it's a good story. I, I enjoy it. So pacing's good. Art's good. Not bad. If, 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 you're, if you're looking for something that's a little bit sci-fi and, and offbeat, uh, this is a good book for you. Final thing on the list, uh, Walking Dead. This is number 19. This is Walking Dead number 19, Deluxe Edition. Now, Deluxe means that they're, in essence, reprints of the original Walking Dead run, but in color. Um, this particular issue I picked is because this was the introduction of Michonne which is a very, very, one of the most popular characters, if not the most popular Walking Dead character. So seeing Michonne come out in her debut and in, in, in color is pretty cool. So um, those are the FOCs coming up for June 27th and June 28th. Go ahead and place your orders with your LCSs and uh, enjoy. Take care. We got history. Got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me.